Sagittarius, it's Amanda here with your October 2016 Rune Scope. Uh, this month in conjunction with the Rune Stones, I'm going to be using the adorable Halloween Tarot. And that's by Kipling West. And then over on my Vimeo page, uh, join me over there after you watch this video for part two. I will pull a spiritual guidance card for you from the Halloween Oracle. This is by Stacy DeMarco. You'll find the link to my on-demand page below the video. Just uh, click or tap show more. But let's jump in and see what October holds for my Sagittarians. Okay. Now, as always, Sagittarius, I encourage you to watch the video for your rising sign as well because that can give you additional messages or information about what may be going on for you in the month of October. Um, of course, the only way to get a reading that is all about you and specific to any issues or situations you may be dealing with uh, is to schedule a private consultation with me. I do Skype readings. Uh, it's 30 minutes for $65. Just drop me a line at runescopesforyou at gmail.com. That's the number four in the letter U at the end of the email address. Again, that's below the video as well. You'll also find it here in the video. Okay, what do we got? My Saggies here. Challenge or focus for the month of October. We do have two of pumpkins in reverse. So this is uh, equivalent to the pentacles in the traditional writer tarot decks. Um, let's see what we got here. So for some of you, this is um, ending a work partnership, ending a, uh, you may be wanting to leave either a partnership or a company that you have been uh, working for because you're just not able to uh, keep up with the, the um, the demands, maybe they have overloaded your plate but never given you a raise. Maybe you're just tired of the work. This is hard work, two of pentacles in reverse. This is like I've got, I'm overloaded, I've got too much on my plate and I can't keep juggling all this stuff, you know. Um, those of you that are in school but also working or, or maybe you uh, have been in school for a long time, I, I don't know if you've ever met these career students. Hopefully none of you are uh, those people. It's like they just keep going to school because they don't want to pay off their loans or they just keep getting degree after degree after degree but never using the knowledge. Um, you may feel like that. I'm not saying that you're doing that, although some of you may be with this combination here, but um, sometimes this means life lessons. Do you just keep repeating the same lesson, but never getting it, never putting an end to it? And for some of you, you may feel like this is on the job. Why do I keep every job I take, every time I think I'm getting out of a bad situation for a new one, I, I, it's like I have a worse situation or just when I put out one fire, there's a, maybe this is just the essence of your job, the essence of the career or the company that you work for. It's like, I, you know, I put out one fire and then, you know, here comes another one. Someone, I feel, I feel like this is probably a specific message for one of you, but I feel like somebody is like training. It's like, you're always training the new people and answering the same questions over and over and over and um, having to have loads and loads of patience. And, um, you know, if you have other things in your chart, other uh, elements, maybe a little bit more uh, earth in your chart, you, uh, you may be more patient, but fire signs in general, not very patient at all. <laughs> so, um, that could be a real challenge for you in October. If you're in a job that does require a lot of patience, requires, you know, a lot of things, a lot of, um, you know, you kind of keeping your under emotion, your emotions under your hat in order to accomplish your duties, accomplish what you need to accomplish. That could be a real challenge in, uh, in October. Um, but I think, I think many of you are focused on leaving a partnership or work situation. This could be a relationship, but normally pentacles or pumpkins in this deck are talking about work. And we also have another, uh, actually we have two more pentacle cards here. So, um, 
some of you could be trying to uh, get a new car or you're, you may be trying to sell a car that really is not in the best of shape in order to get a new car. There may be something going on with vehicle in October. Um, but the Ace of Imps is here and that's the Ace of Rods or the Ace of Wands in other decks. Um, so this indicates a new opportunity that you are very passionate about. Um, a new job opportunity that you uh, would enable you to leave this more kind of negative situation or the one, you know, where you are, the, the job you're tired of here, um, the one you want to get out of here. Um, some of you, it may be an opportunity to move. Some of you may be moving out or, or moving out of where you were living. Um, and it maybe the focus it, it's like you you everything's out of your price range or or maybe you know everything that you're looking at is like I can't afford that on my own or you know I would have to get a roommate or something so you may be looking to move and um, thinking it's not going to work out but then lo and behold it does because uh, you've also got Othila which is real estate property so some of you this is about a move buying or selling property um, remodeling a home flipping a house um, and wanting to do something really, really quickly. Uh, so if there are any repairs or renovations on this place, you really want to do them uh, quite quickly. Um, there may be someone at, at present in the present position. This is this is where this is coming up, by the way. So, I mean, as soon as you're watching this or as soon as we kind of enter October, this new opportunity may come in and um, you may be undecided about it. Um, Sag, should I stay or should I go? Um, I do feel like, though, if you don't take whatever this opportunity is, if you don't move on this property, if you don't um, jump into this new job, you're going to be really disappointed that you didn't later. You're going to view it as a missed opportunity. So don't let anybody talk you out of it, Sag, because it seems like, you know, you need to try to tackle this or you need, this is something you need to do. Maybe you're like, I, maybe this is a part-time thing or, or it's just a, like a personal project or um, a hobby that you want to kind of try to turn into your own thing or a trip that you want to take with Rido here. Um, or maybe it's like I have a full-time job, but I want to buy a property and flip it and then sell it. Um, you know, maybe you're wanting to do this, but you're like, I, that may, you have two minds about it. You're like, that's probably going to be too much. I don't know how I would do all of that work. Or maybe you have done that and you're like, man, I wish I hadn't taken that on. That's, it's just too much work. So if you've already done this, if you're already like working a day job and then trying to do something, um, you've got to, trying to have two sources of income and it's just too much, it's time to drop one in favor of the other, Sag. And you know, some of you may be trying to figure out, well, should I drop the day job? And you know, maybe this would be more successful if I had more time. Um, but there's something that you need to do in October or, you know, if you don't, because if there's an offer or it's something that you're very passionate about that you really want to do and you don't do it, you will be, you will regret it. And I think you know that. Like as soon as this pops up, it's like, I really have to do this. This is kind of, this is what I've been waiting on or this is the opportunity I've been waiting on. Uh, King of Pumpkins is here in reverse, but it's coming up. He, this is the help that's going to be available to you. So, uh, so this is normally King of Pentacles and other decks. In reverse, this is somebody who's very, um, very greedy, very, um, you know, he's not particularly good with money actually, but he's very selfish with it and with money, with possessions. Um, this is somebody that, you know, he's not generous. He tries to get, like, if it's somebody's birthday, like, he'll have an excuse why he can't come to the party and bring a gift. Um, he never contributes at the office when people are putting money in cards for people. Um, you know, he's just very a tight wad. He's tight. That's just the way he is. Um, holds on and holds on and holds on. Uh, 
And then we also have the rune of the selfish individual. So, I mean, the only way I'm seeing that this person could be a help to you is that maybe this is somebody who is making a deal for you on a property. Um, you know, maybe you're getting away from this person. Maybe this is your boss or somebody in this situation that you are leaving behind. This can also be a man or a woman in these general readings. Um, but this is earth sign energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo generally. Uh, but this could be somebody who is very, very possessive in a relationship like and treats you like you are a possession or property. Um, and you are getting away from this person or, or making the decision. Because maybe he or she does something that's just the final straw. It helps you kind of leave. Maybe you're kind of waiting for them. It's like you get one more shot. And <laughs> I'm giving you one more chance. And if you if you screw up one more time, I'm out of here. And I think, and I, I think you really are kind of hoping that they will, whether it's a conscious or subconscious thing. Because I feel like you've already left whatever this situation is, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, Sag. You've already had one foot out the door. And, um, you know, you finally get a reason, like, I, I can't stay here anymore. I can't deal with this kind of behavior. I can't deal with somebody who's putting all this extra work on me and not gonna give me a promotion, not gonna give me a pay raise. Um, this guy is, I mean, this is kind of like somebody who is treating you like a servant or something and really kind of like expecting a lot out of you, but then not contributing not doing much of anything himself. Um, so what must be accepted about October? And here we've got eight of pumpkins in reverse. So this is, um, again, eight of pentacles in, uh, in reverse. You're just fed up <laughs> with something. Um, in the upright, this is a card of the craftsman, you know, um, apprenticing, learning something new, um, being excited about work or uh, being passionate and taking a lot of time and putting a lot of care and attention to detail in your work. In the reverse, it's like you could not care less anymore. Uh, you're fed up, you're done with it. For, and for some of you, it has something to do, and I've got now a female rune, so I feel like this is the same person for many of you. Um, some of you are dealing with a male who is um, you know, manipulating you to get you to do what they want you to do. Others are dealing with a female who, who are very disruptive to your everyday environment. So if this isn't somebody you're in a relationship with or live with, it's a boss or it's a professor or um, you know, it, it, it's uh, it's somebody who is uh, very, very selfish, jealous, again, possessive, um, and very kind of extreme when it comes to the emotional scale. It's like one day everything is fine and every, you know, they're in a really, really good mood and yeah, like you never know what to expect. And you're just tired of dancing around their moods or dancing around <laughs> the extremes of it, uh, Sagittarius. So, um, what I'm seeing now, I mean, unexpectedly, there's a new influence coming in in October. So some of you could be, you've got a lot of protection around you. That's what this room talks about. Um, you know, you're being protected by uh, those who care about you. Um, and maybe you have been for quite some time, but you didn't realize it. And, and this is also your spirit guides or your loved ones who have crossed over watching out for you, wanting to help you change the situation, um, wanting to help you leave this job, wanting to help you um, get out of this uh, negative situation. And uh, finally in October, Maybe you meet someone new and it gives you a reason, or again, we've got this new opportunity. So again, there's a new offer, there's a new person, there's a new passion. 
either for uh, the work that you want to do or for an, a new person. Um, and this would be a very fortunate influence. This is a good hearted person. This is a decent person. This is somebody who treats people the way they want, they want to be treated. Um, very kind, they give good advice. Um, when they care about someone, they take care of that person. They don't kind of, you know, lock them in an attic or make them feel like they, you know, they're not possessive, they're not uh, jealous, uh, you know. Um, and maybe for some of you, yeah, I feel like this offer, this new passion, this new beginning is the impetus or the catalyst of this new phase or this new, uh, yeah, new time in your life. Sorry, my earring is caught on my shirt there. And then finally, at the end of October, we've got the four of bats in reverse. So um, Leo got this too, but in a, in a different position. Um, so the bats are the swords in other decks, but so this is talking about just being exhausted, but you can't rest. You're being, you know, because, um, and there are two runes on the table that speak of repeating patterns or repeating things you don't have to repeat, repeating lessons over and over and over again maybe forgiving someone over and over and over again for outbursts and and you know they say they're going to change or they say it's not going to always be this way um and then lo and behold here we go again and you're just drained of every possible thing and all you want to do is take a time out sleep rest you don't want to do this anymore you don't want to work at this job anymore um, maybe you're being pro you keep being promised a promotion or you keep being promised a, a pay raise and um, you know because there's a house you want to buy or there's something you know you want to invest there's something that you want you maybe you want to move to a bigger place or you want to invest in remodeling a home and you can't do that until you get this raise so there's some kind of last straw moment in a situation in October for many of you Sagittarians and again as I mentioned, watch the video for your rising sign as well because um, that may give you some more information about this situation or talk about uh, something else altogether. Um, and these are all uh, minor cards, so I don't feel like for many of you this is like, uh, we don't have any major arcana. So um, October may not be the month that you make a life-changing decision, but I, I think you will maybe before the end of the year, um, because you're getting uh, a lot more information that you need in order to make a decision in October. But Sag, I, I would say that the, uh, the main message I'm getting here is to follow your passion, follow this shift or change, leave situations that are exhausting you. Um, I feel like you feel like you're running in place but never getting anywhere either at work or in a relationship or at school. I mean, they're, you know, some of you may be studying something or going to school and you're like, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to study this. Maybe you're done with school altogether. I mean, in this day and age, you know, it is helpful to have a degree, but it really depends on what you're going to do. I mean, you know, there are people who have been very, very successful without have ever having gone to college. Now they are in the minority, I think, but um, it depends on what you have a talent to. Some people have a, a talent for it. Some people have natural gifts and talents and they don't need that stuff. They don't need book learning as they used to call it. Uh, you know, because it's so expensive to, to go to school, especially here in the States. Um, other places you get it for free. I don't know, well, isn't that nice? We don't have that here, so. Yeah. Um, if you're wasting time, wasting money on a course of study you're never going to use and, and you're like, why am I, you know, I hate this so much. Uh, <laughs> Sagittarians are like, you know, sitting in a class or sitting in a lecture would be very difficult for really any of the fire signs, but especially Sagittarians. So, um, you know, if it's not a course of study that's going to, you know, really set you up nice for the rest of your life, if you know, like, I hate this so much, there's no way I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, 
then I, you know, I think you, you might want to think about either changing to something that you're really passionate about, even if it's not practical, even if it's not, you know, even if it is more creative than, uh, than practical, um, even just making a switch like that would be, uh, beneficial. Some of you may be, um, some of you may want to be a realtor. Uh, maybe that's what you want to do because again we've got property some of you may want to go into property law you may want to deal with wheel with wills and inheritances and things like that do probate law um, so that may be and again like I talked about before maybe you want to build houses maybe you want to be an architect maybe you want to um, I was just getting something else here Oh, yeah, maybe you want to, um, yeah, like we were talking about, buy property, build houses on them, or fix fix up homes. I feel like old houses are calling you, too, if you're doing that, because this is the rune of the past. So you could be drawn to historical landmarks, to fixing up historical things. Um, you may be, Some of you may want to volunteer and help restore old properties, old homes, that sort of thing. So that is what I see for the month of October, Sagittarius. I do hope that was helpful. Um, as I mentioned, I am going to shuffle now and pull your spiritual guidance card from the Halloween Oracle. So do meet me over on my on-demand page on Vimeo. Again, the link is below. Just click or tap show more. I'll see you over there and I'll see you back here next month.